The Ghost of Lease Purchase Real Estate Past, Chapter 3. I was trying to get to sleep when a flash emitted from the stove. A misty fog cleared and someone was again in my living room. I was personally hoping for St. Nick, but instead a man with a beard dressed in a 1974 purple leisure suit appeared. Max sent me, he exclaimed. I am the ghost of lease purchase real estate past. My God, that is a mouthful to say, I thought. Please take the hem of my garment. We have much to see. Not one to really argue with a badly dressed poltergeist, I grabbed the hem of his really tacky retro suit. The ghost investor really needed a trip to the men's warehouse, but that was another matter. Besides, what was I thinking? He was a ghost. I should be concerned as to where we were traveling. He raised his oversized lapels and flapped them three times. We were whisked away to the back of an extended Ford F-100 cab pickup truck that was roaring down Highway 95 to who knows where. The ghost instructed me to listen as we sat a few feet away from two young men in the front seat. Can't they see us, I asked. They will not be able to hear or see us. Now be silent and listen as you have been instructed. The driver in the cab spoke. So listen, Ralphie boy, it's all about guts and consistency. If you knock on enough doors, eventually someone is going to say yes. You'll make more money in one sale than in any job working for someone else. It's not easy, but heck, it's your own business. You work when you want to. Are you game? Sure, the fellow called Ralph replied. I grabbed the specter's jacket. That's me! Oh my God, that's me! Ghost dude, I remember. I was really babbling now. I was only a kid, maybe 21 or 22 years old. I left my corporate job because it was so boring and the pay was even worse. Really cruel boss, too. I rode with this guy who I found an ad from in the newspaper. I remember. It went like, start your own tool business. I rode along with him, and he was teaching me how to sell tools like a peddler all day long. I thought, what the heck? I was now an entrepreneur. I didn't have to go to meetings anymore or wear suits. I made decent money every day just knocking on strangers' doors near manufacturing plants and gas stations. Oh boy, was my dad pissed off at me when I quit that corporate job that he had arranged for me in the middle of another one of those recessions when no one was hiring. I had a hell of a lot of adventures in my truck. Man, were those the good old days, I exclaimed. The two young men stopped the truck, parked in front of an industrial warehouse, got out and walked towards the office of the owner. Casper, the weird purple ghost and I followed or hovered, whatever you call it. First young guy. Hey, mister, I have some great equipment on the back of my truck and I can cut you a hell of a deal if you're interested. Burly owner. Well, let's take a look, but no promises. Young Ralph. All new equipment, sir. We buy directly from the manufacturer so you don't have to pay retail or shipping costs. The burly owner started looking and caressing the menagerie of industrial tools, a collection of drill presses, vices, socket sets, a red two-ton hoist, also known as a cherry picker, and a five-ton press, as well as assorted hand tools, all new and packaged. First young guy. We can let you have the entire load for $2,500 retail. Would be closer to $5,000. Burly owner. Are you guys nuts? I wouldn't give you anything close to that. Young Ralph. We really want to sell this stuff and get back home. Suppose we discounted it another two fifty and made it an even twenty two fifty. Burly owner. I'll give you two thousand cash and that's it, fellas. Take it or get out of here. Young Ralph. We'll take it, sir. You are really getting a good deal, a great deal today. Thank you. The owner went inside and paid Ralph with twenty dollar crisp one hundred dollar bills. They unloaded the truck and left to get something to eat. The ghost of lease purchase past asks Ralph, do you remember all of this, Ralph? To which he replied, you bet. What the owner didn't know was the entire load only cost us about $900 since we bought the equipment in large quantities directly from the manufacturers. He still got a good deal, but we made $1,100, a great profit for just one sale in the old disco days. The ghost of lease purchase past acknowledged him. 
Yes, you went on to start your own tool import business and even brought in a few other truck drivers to work for you. You did that for five years and then sold the business when you got into creative real estate. Let's move on to your next business startup. With that, they flew to a convention center crammed with people and where a guy in a black suit was speaking to the crowd. Speaker. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you too can be rich in real estate and we can show you how it's easy. Don't you want to become rich? It's all about little or nothing down, folks. Look at me. You can do it too. Just step to the back of the room. Speak to my associates and they can help you. Don't worry about money. We can show you how to increase your credit limit. Get loads of easy cash and do deals. Hurry now. We only sign up the first 50 people. Ghost. Do you remember how you ran to that desk and signed up, Ralph? Do you remember what happened next? Yes, Ralph relied. It was it was a waste of money. I got a book with generic information and I couldn't get the guru or anyone on the phone to help me do deals. They would never return any calls or call me back from my voicemails. I learned a hard lesson that I should never do business with someone who hides their contact information or is not accountable or doing business in an honest fashion. I was so confused, Ralph continued, but I had sold the tool business and I had some money left over to invest. I needed to do something fresh and with a challenge, a new business that would make at least 10 to 50,000 per month minimum. I heard so many success stories about real estate. I really had the real estate fever then, but I was so ignorant about strategies and marketing. I wasted so much money on that crook and others like him. Ghost. The man on the stage is now serving a life sentence in the federal penitentiary for tax evasion and mail fraud. Let's move on. And time is fleeting with you. With that, they flew in a flash to a large condo development. Do you remember this building, Ralph? You bet, Ralph answered. I bought these condos with my remaining cash and credit like the guru in another book said to do, and I was losing my shirt. I had to get a second corporate job just to keep up with the mortgage taxes, homeowner association payments, and insurance. No one paid me on time, if at all, and the repairs were a constant annoyance. I had to move out of my apartment and move back in with my folks. Oh my God, that was embarrassing. It was just a matter of time before I was wiped out, busted, a loser at 27 years old, ghost. Then something unique happened to you, something that changed your life completely. One of the most successful and wealthiest people in the world of real estate came into your life. Do you remember when you first met Max the Mentor? 